In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to using the Yotpo email marketing and SMS app for Shopify. So let's get right into it. Now the first thing you want to do is go and search it up on the App Store, go down to here, press install, and it's going to take you to a pop-up on your Shopify store. And from here you can click install and you should be ready to go. Once you install it, it should have a pop-up that looks like this. You just want to click get started here. And it's going to take you to a little sign up form on the website. So just make a quick account here. Once you've done that, you're going to be brought some onboarding like this, and you can just go through it and select what you want. So I'm going to click, I want SMS and email, and it's going to ask me for some additional details like my store name, phone number, industry, that kind of thing. I'd recommend just pressing, I'll do this later on all of these steps because we'll do that all later. Okay. So now that we're inside the app, the very first thing we want to get, the very first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead to the top and click on this verification button here. This will allow us to verify our phone number so that we can start sending SMSs. So you're going to click that there and then down here, you're going to verify the different numbers that you want to use. So once we've done that, we can actually go and explore the app now. So they have a little recommendation here of things you should set up. So you should enable the checkout collection first. So we're going to click enable. And basically this is going to mean that it will work on Shopify. So you're going to click this button here that says Shopify settings. And it should open up a new page. From here, you'll want to scroll down to where it says marketing options and click on SMS. Now you can find that in the checkout section here. So we're going to go ahead and click save like that. And that should be ready to go. Next up, we're going to go ahead and customize the checkout settings. Now this is optional, but I'd recommend going ahead and doing it. So again, we're going to click on this link here and we're going to go to the shipping address phone number section and sort this out. And that will be this one here, shipping address phone number, put that onto optional and click save. Next, we want to scroll down to the bottom and go to checkout language. It says English here and we want to go to where it says manage checkout language. So we're going to click that. And from here in the search bar, I want to type in marketing. And we're looking for this box here that says accept marketing checkout label. So in there, we want to grab this text here. We want to copy it and we want to paste this in here like that and hit save. That will basically just tell people that you're going to be sending them SMSs. So once we've done that, we can click done and we're ready to go to the next step. So the next step is to create a pop up here. We're going to go ahead and click create. And this pop up here is just going to be the default one that comes up on your website for all different reasons. So you can change the colors here pretty easily and you can add a discount if you want to of 10%. And you can go to the second step here, which will be adding their phone number just to check how it looks. Now, if you're happy with that, we can click publish pop up and it should be ready to go after a few seconds. There we go. Lastly, we're going to create a social opt in. So click create. And what we can do here is just press setup. We can type in a name in here. So we'll say social opt. We can select a list they go to. So we'll say default list and we'll press setup. We can leave this just like this. And again, we can leave all of this the same if we want to. Then we can activate that and we should be ready to go. So now that we've done that, the first thing we can go ahead and do is go to the campaign section here. And this is going to be our SMS and email campaign. So a campaign is basically a one time send. So first of all, we can go ahead to the top and we can pick on a template here, or we can just go here and click create campaign and we can select what type of campaign we want. So SMS is phone numbers and email is email, of course. So I'll just click on the email one for now. And this is going to open up a new window that looks like this. And the first thing we want to do is select an audience. So this can be a load of audiences that we've already made. I'll show you how to make those later. There's tons of different ones you can make, but I will just go and click on repeat buyers, for example. Then here we can exclude an audience. So we can exclude people who we might have messaged before or people who might not be a good fit for this. A good option is also to send to things like uh, softbound subscribers. We can also press this button here and this will skip people who have been emailed in the last eight hours. Next up, we're going to change the sender name. I'd recommend doing this to changing it to your store name. So I'll just put test store, but you want to put your store name in there. And then send the email is the email you want it to come from. So you should do this to an email that you own. And it's usually going to be something like info at your website, website.com. Next up, we have the subject line and preview text. So the subject line is going to be the first line that pops up in their email. We want this to be something eye catching, something that's going to you know, draw their attention. 
stuff like um, check out this bestseller something like that might work and then in preview text it's going to be a little bit of text to entice them as well so you could be like this item sold out in 30 minutes last drop maybe add some urgency we can also go here and create a split test if we want to and we can split test the um, email subject the preview text and even the email content and we can go ahead and figure out what we're trying to split test. So we can split test click-through rate, conversion rate, open rate, total orders, and total revenue. And we can also select what amount is going to be sent to which one, and then how many people will be sent to the, the winning one. So we'll press create test if we want to do that. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the edit content section. But first, if I want to, I can create a, or I can choose a template here. So you can see there's tons of different templates for a lot of different needs. So let's just click on this one here, press continue, and I'll change and reset it. And then I can go ahead and click edit content. So this should take me into the editor. And the editor looks a little bit like this. So it's very easy to use. You've got things here like images. You can change the images out. You can add links into the images. You can change the text, the alignment, the sizing, all of that kind of stuff here. You can also click on every little element here and it will pop up on the side the different bits of content and also the appearance is going to pop up here on the side too. So we can click in deeper if we want to, we could change the text here, check out our new bestseller, we can change the background image here if we wanted to. There's so many different things we can actually go ahead and change here. Now if we want to go ahead and hide an element we can turn on one of these so this will hide it on desktop this will hide it on mobile or this won't hide it at all there's a ton of different settings we can mess around with here stuff like the fonts the colors the spacing we've got the buttons here we've got the mobile formatting here there's really loads we can do once we're happy with how it looks we can go ahead to the right hand side here and we can save and close now the last thing we want to do when we're sending an email is we can either schedule it or we can save it for later or we can send now. So we'll go ahead and just press schedule for later and we can select either the time zone of our store or the time zone of the recipient. So go ahead and select the time zone here and the date. Then we should be able to go ahead and send it there. Now I haven't verified my account which is why I'm unable to do this but I can just save that there. And if we don't want to send it straight away, if we go back, it's going to be saved as a draft anyway. We can also go ahead and create a SMS campaign. It's very similar, except this is going to be way more text based. And you can select the audience here, campaign name. And inside here, we're going to use the text. Now you can see there's some boxes here. These are dynamic tags. And this will change based upon the user. So you see where it says first name, that will change to the person who is receiving its first name. So you've got tags here like first name, last name, uh, discount code, all of that kind of stuff. And you can just insert that there. You've also got the option to add things like GIFs and emojis, but the more you add, the more it's gonna cost. So you can see here a standard SMS is up to 160 characters. If you stick under that, you're only going to be sending one SMS per person. But if you go over 160 characters, it's going to be sent in two different texts, which means it will be double the cost. So keep that in mind. Each SMS should be around, well, under five cents to send if it's short like this. Something to note is that e uh, SMS marketing is very, very effective. You're going to have huge open rates, you know, up to 90% open rates. Similarly, you can go ahead and schedule it for later and you can change a lot of settings here. We can also go ahead and go to the campaign planner. So this will allow you to plan things for different dates that are coming soon. This is a really cool feature. It allows you to, well, basically they tell you the different dates coming up and this allows you to basically just plan in advance. You've also got your templates here, which you can go ahead and customize. If you send the same sort of emails over and over again, you might want to create your own template for that. Now, there's a lot of websites you can use to actually create your own templates that are very professional looking. Now, next up, we have the flows. So flows are automatic messages and they usually get sent based upon an action that someone has done on your website. So that might be adding something to cart, that might be abandoning checkout, might be viewing a product. 
And we can go ahead here and browse some templates again. And these templates are slightly different. These are going to be templates based upon actions more than the way they look. So, for example, abandoned cart. This will send when someone abandons cart or abandons checkout. You've also got add to cart. You've got a ton of different options here. Back in stock, um, browse abandonment, low in stock, price drop. There's tons of different ones you can actually go ahead and use. But if we click on this one here, abandon checkout, we can go ahead and we can customize the flow. We can keep a discount on if we want to. We'll click customize flow here. And it's going to open up a new window that looks like this. So here is sort of your uh, flow logic, I guess you could say. So up here we've got the trigger. And then we've got a delay of 30 minutes we can change. And then we have our action. We can very go very easily go into each of these different things here, such as the trigger, and we can go ahead and change the trigger up here by clicking on it. We can also change things like the max flow entries per user, and we can choose other triggers like has not been part of the flow in the last few days. We can also go ahead here and change the delay, so we can change it from minutes to hours to days, and then we've got our action here. So the action here is the message, and it works exactly the same as how it does on the campaign where you can change the text in here and the tags work dynamically, all that kind of stuff here. You can also split test here and we would highly recommend that you do split test because it's gonna change the amount of revenue you can make. So make sure you do have split test going on there. Next up, you can add another delay and you can add another step here. But this here is going to be an if condition. So it's gonna check if someone actually has made an order or not. If they've made an order, then the flow will end. But if they've not, it's going to keep sending them follow-ups and follow-ups just like that. It's even going to go over here into a different flow, which will be on their email. So it's going to start off by sending them an SMS. And it's going to go over here and send them an email. And it's going to keep going down there until it sent a maximum amount of emails. And then it will end the flow. But if you want to add a custom step, you can either add a condition, an action, or a delay there, just like that. Once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and put this onto active, save it, and this should start sending to people who are in this flow. You can go ahead here and look at more flow templates. You've got acquisition, purchase, and retention. And then you've got some email flow templates as well. Next up, we have our subscriber collection tool. So these are things like pop-ups. So we've already set up a pop-up. We've got a spin to win. So this is basically gonna give people a discount on the store. You've got a keyword, so if someone selects a certain keyword, it will subscribe them. And you've got the social opt-in which you set up earlier as well. We can go ahead here onto this and we can go to the edit thing here. We go down to form code and this is going to be the code we'll place on our website which will make the pop-up work. So you can embed that as a HTML. You can then go into here onto tool anal analytics and you can see how well it's actually converting. Now for an opt-in you want 10 to 20% opt-in rate ideally. And you'll want to just keep split testing until you get that result. Next up, we've got our lists and segments. And this is where we can basically segment people off based upon their actions. They've got some set up by default. These are pretty good ones that you can use. But you can also go here, create an audience. And you can either create from a list, create a retailer, or build manually. So I'll go ahead and click build manually. I'll create it. And we've got a ton of different behaviors, customer attributes, locations, actions order info and email stuff that we can use. So we can pick someone who has placed multiple place an order five times, for example. So we could say number of orders is at least five. So people, someone that's placed more than five orders, we can save that as a segment. And we can send them emails in a completely different way than we would send someone who has not bought anything before. Now, something else you'll see is these actions here. These are web actions when someone's done something on the web and you're going to have to install a web pixel for this. So we're going to click on the install web pixel button. We're going to click this one here and boom, it's now installed onto the website. So you can see that these actions are now available to actually um, use. Then we can go down to our customers here. So show the different customers and we've got our chat here. So this is a live chat that we can turn on, allowing people to talk to you with a live chat, basically increase your conversion rate and prevent lost customers. Then we've got analytics here, which are very useful to look at. And lastly, we have our integrations. So you might want to integrate with a ton of different things like Zapier or some tracking if you've got tracking codes or recharge for subscriptions. There's tons of different integrations here that you might want to use. 
and they've got an all integrations tab here but really if you integrate these with your campaigns you're going to have a really really good strong marketing campaign for sms and email the last thing that we got here is just our settings we've just got a load of general settings here that we'll go through and just go through there make sure you're complying with everything make sure you've got everything set up in a way that you like it so that is basically a full beginner's guide to the app if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video